Welcome back guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me, Trifin, here on Derp Through Minecraft episode 9. We're already 9 episodes in guys. So, uh, James Jones, he commented on my last video about where I was having a little bit of a problem with it locking up and I found out it wasn't my CPU. So that was really good. I found out that it was actually my uh, disk write speed uh, because of the way that I had my files indexing uh, to compress storage space and everything else it's kind of given my computer a little bit of hell so I changed it back to the way it should be or the way that it works better for recording and yeah we're rock and roll the disc still I mean it's it's on a say to say to six I believe so it'll write six gigs per second but occasionally now it'll peg out at 100% but I have my little deal open there in the corner telling me exactly how hard it's writing so we're all right but we are recording this 1080p, 60 frames per second. We're doing all right. So we'll see if it locks up on us again. But I'm hoping not. I'm really hoping not. So what have I been up to? Well, I've been I've been going pretty hard, guys. I've been pretty busy. Wanted to give you something to look at. So this is what we have. Ta-da! Look at this. So I absolutely have been killing it over there going crazy I absolutely hate gravel and I hate guardians with everything I've got it's they suck they really really suck but we're almost there we are almost there guys I have 35 levels as you can see and I've been doing a bunch of enchanting and Yes, I now have flame on my bow because I died probably about 150 times. <laughs> no joke. Uh, those guys just kept wrecking me, and you'll see here my armor is pretty well shot. But I did get a new pair of diamond boots here. Uh, so they got feather falling, fire protection, depth strider 3. So we combine those with our old boots, and so now we have depth strider on those. We got nine diamonds, and yeah, we'll we'll come over here in a second, but. We've got our Power 5 Unbreaking 3 Infinity Flame Bow. This thing is a beast. we got to rename that one. Sharpness 5, Looting 3, Knockback 1, and Breaking 3. Um, I went down into the caves, found a ton of diamonds. ton of diamonds. So we have an Efficiency 5 of Breaking 3, Efficiency 5 and Breaking 3, Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3. Oh, yeah. This one makes me a little happy. And this one makes me even more happy. Oh, we're kind of set on our tools right now, guys. Not going to lie. We're good to go, but we need armor. We need armor badly. So let's see. What we currently have, we have a helmet. Yeah, protection 4, it's not bad. Aqua affinity, we probably could do something more, but these two are what we don't have. These are both iron. So we need, let's see, that. We got that one there. So we got a diamond chest plate. There we are. All right. Yeah, come on. And you'll also see right over here, what do we have? We've got some animals, animals, animals for our farm. So now we have Apollo, we've got a bunch of animals. We're going to have to get this guy over here going, which should be an uh, episode or two, I hope. We'll get there. We have some more diamonds over here, don't we? Where are they? Well, we'll have to find them. I know we have some somewhere. Um... Well, I hope I didn't lose them. That would really stink, wouldn't it? Oh, well. So we'll see. Um, what are we running at right now? 38 frames. That is horrible. All right. Well, oh, well. Um, that always happens when I record it at full size instead of half size. So, uh, but it just makes it easier on the rendering end. So, you know what, guys? Hold on just a second. Let me... I need to get I need to find those other diamonds is what I need to do first I need to find those other diamonds and then we need to get uh, need to get some enchanting done and then I'm gonna show you some of the stuff we got going so I'll be right back give me just a second all right guys be right back all right guys do you ever have one of those moments where you just kind of like laugh and at yourself mainly just because of how goofy you are well I just had one of those I actually remembered where I left the stuff and it'll actually work to our benefit because it's something I need to show you anyways so we're gonna run down here. I'm gonna get kind of we'll get started on kind of what we've been up to. First off, we change this. Uh, kind of evened out this. We raised this level up one down here. Made it all sand all the way down. So we got ourselves a nice little stream. Kind of runs out. Um, 
I know, big, big, right? You gotta love it. Then, we come down here. Dun, 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 dun. We've got a fish tank. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we have it. Check these guys out. We have SpongeBob, Squidward, and Kevin. And if I know, James, you cannot comment, but I know if you guys know where the Kevin comment or reference comes from, please put it down below. I want to know in the down there what you guys think. And, uh, yep, there goes my disc again. It's it just, I need to get a new hard drive. I know it. Ugh. Oh well. Anyways, so we've got our three our three fish in here. Uh, and they're not doing too bad actually. They're uh, I've kind of freaked out earlier because two of them suddenly disappeared and now they're back and I'm not quite sure what happened, but you know, oh well. So let's see. If we come down here, this is where our cart station is going to be and I got to thinking about it. This guy here, we had talked about we wanted to be um, you know, go out to the farm out there, which is great. But I was having to run back and forth to the um, enchanting bench so much because uh, I went through probably about four diamond pickaxes. So I got to thinking, there's got to be a quicker way over here. You know, from a central hub. Check that out, huh? And uh, so I took the coordinates, went back up there into that tunnel, the tunnel on the right. If you guys remember, there wasn't anything there. And look at where it takes us right down here to our spawner so we're interconnecting this um, we're still gonna put the the uh, what's it called uh, we're still gonna put the smelter probably over here um, I think so but um, I don't know that one's kind of up for up for grabs but yeah so we've got our smelter here and uh, yeah they're going right now they're going pretty good too uh, but we gotta run tracks down this way so that's something we gotta do power this guy up but the minecart station is definitely coming here in the next you know episode or two we got to get this going just to make it easier now this guy is actually going to be a supply line for out there or you could ride it if you want but it was a pain to dig if you see the water dripping there through the ceiling absolute chore um, but it, I mean it wasn't too too bad but I would like to Possibly, I'd like to get that just set. You know, we can put uh, the uh, the stuff that we get from the drops out there. Dr put it in a cart, ship it up over here, automatically unload. So yeah. And because I got tired of running, uh, one of the first things we did, we actually finished this tunnel. Uh, only took about 18 more stacks of of glass. So yeah, that was amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah. Now we have this. Kind of runs out here. This is one of the reasons we were saving all the gold earlier and all the iron. We got a lot of iron because we found a lot of tunnels down below this bad boy. So it, uh, it ends up working out well. We're not going to use the cave system like we thought last time for getting in. Uh, I know that I had said that I, I want to run the one tunnel, uh, the one on the left, over to here so that we can get in. But now we're going to do something a little different. Um, yep. I don't think these are going to change either, guys. Just FYI. Uh, real, real chore. But with water breathing and you, I kind of like started some half slabs up here. And then you just kind of s float underneath them and just drop all of this. And there was stuff down, you know, I did section it all off into little partitions and then drop more of, uh, um, uh, sorry, more gravel. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, drop more gravel down here and then went through with the sponges and kind of put all the sponges in and dried it all out but uh, we've half slabbed some stuff uh, took it right up to this edge here and a lot of this was natural too a lot of this stuff was already in place so it wasn't too terribly bad uh, you know but half slab this top row here it's half slabbed up there at the top so that makes it kind of easy but got some torches, uh, added some extra lanterns in, because like I said, we got 35 levels from killing a lot of these guardians. Um, now, here we are. Here it is. Um, I feel like I need like a grand entrance on it, like the big reveal. But if you look over there, that's where our supply line is going to come in, because that's where that one row goes off to there. Um, and yes, now... 
normally a water temple is at that le or no sorry that level right there that one right there and you can see bits of the wall there and I filled it in with some of the other stuff but I dug it down one two three four well I guess this was the floor so I dug it down five more levels and now you see why I went through the pick guys absolute pain in the rear end but um, we do get some some uh, slimes that will spawn over here so that's something to look at and originally while I was doing all this and clearing all this out what I did was I took this guy here put uh, like three layers of water and then ran just glass down here to the floor and was just killing uh, just the guardians they would they would spawn up there and they would spawn more and more as the uh, water got dried up but yeah so that's just some of the stuff we got there in the last few bits but you can see here gravel here bunch more gravel a uh, bunch bunch of stuff that I dug out there bunch of stuff that I dug out there a little bit more up here but I just started dumping it all in there had some sand for making glass I think that guy's empty and uh, yeah with the water breathing and night vision I would just run out into the ocean uh, take a boat go out you know 100 blocks or so and then just dig up a whole bunch of sand yep, oh it is night let's sleep so I mean it ended up working out really really well uh, just to drop all the gravel in uh, but it's you know I'd put on Twitch or YouTube or something and just sit there and kind of keep going and real pain in the butt oh there's our yep there's our depth strider 3 there a uh, bunch more stuff that we got we got here's the blocks of gold from the center there we're gonna take these iron uh, we don't need the charcoal. We see here's a bunch of the potions that we were drinking. Oops. We need to get a better fishing rod too. That's one thing I thought about. But uh, here's some of the stuff we have left. We've got almost a double chest of the prismarine, almost a double chest of the, uh, or sorry, the regular prismarine, almost a double chest of the prismarine blocks, and then just a little bit of the dark. Oh, and here's some other stuff. We got 38 sea lanterns and. Yeah, so we've been having fun. It's definitely, uh, you know, you curse yourself the whole time you're doing it, but it ends up being pretty good. And this, my friends, this is where I remembered I put the diamonds. Remember we had our little uh, cool smelter thing here? Well, when I tore it down, I dumped them in there. So, oh yeah, we'll take that. That's nice. But here's all the parts we need for our smelter, because we are going to relocate that and put it somewhere else. So, oh, there's one. Come here. Oh, really? Okay, tell me if you guys saw that bounce off the top. That had to have. There's no way. Um, I have a couple... Uh, I got a bunch of... You know, I probably killed maybe 15 of these guys since I've been down here. The large ones, so... I've gotten a lot of slime balls. Uh, I'm going to have to find those, too. But, yeah, that tunnel there will take our drops and go up. Now, what I'm thinking is that depending on how I can get the water to run I, I'm thinking that I'm gonna start the pads back here um, and let's grab a few blocks just to kinda of mock this up so you guys gotta get a feel for it and see what we're gonna do here so let's grab um, perfect yeah we'll use this guy nice um, so if we come to oh nope skip one there we go alright so if we started about here and we were to come out was that that's four five six uh, seven and that would be the eighth so if we put water down it would run to right there now we want it to just continue so we'll drop it down it's three four, five six seven three four five six is that no that seems wrong one two three four five six. no that's seven there and then here would be the next spot so it passes right here in front of this door we might have to pull it off the wall one but the idea is that we want all this right here to just all be covered in water um, water running down that is and you know, are we gonna have to dig it out down lower oh son of a uh, but we we're gonna put like uh, fences like right about here on this level here um, so uh, come on come on yeah 
There we go. So like at this level, we'll have a bunch of fences or sign. Not well, we could stack signs, but they're a little tricky. But um, fence gates, those work better. So we'll have fences all on this level here, and then we'll have like uh, two layers of water above it. That doesn't really give us a lot of room up there, does it? Yeah, we may have to dig out a little bit more when we get down to here because I'd like to drop it just a tad, but um, the idea is that you have like your fences, your fences are here and then you've got water above it and so they'll spawn in the water pad there, drop down, this is all running, they run down the water, uh, collects them, takes them all over to one central location which will be, uh, I'm thinking like somewhere, uh, let's see, how wide? So those guys travel nicely in a 4x4. Four four. We want it to be offset, so we'd want it to be um, something like this, I guess. Um, we'll center it and get all that stuff going. But um, Yeah, so it'd come down here, you know, into a, into a central collection like this, and then it'll drop way down because we got to kill them. Probably put them through some fire as well, but or some lava. But So I want to have a spawn pad here up here and then of course we're gonna have probably like two two maybe three spawn pads up here so we'll do it where we're gonna have um, the fence gates like that and we're gonna need something else so you guys can actually understand and it's just not all the same block because I understand it but you guys oh we'll use gravel because that's a good gravel falls uh, oh this grows come on there we go alright yeah I'm gonna have to check to see if my I might have a ba bad SATA cable or something. We'll see. I'll get it figured out, I promise. All right, so then we'd have, these will be our fence gates here. This is uh, two pieces of water. And then, let's see, we'll go up like that, go there. Switch you off, go there and go there. So uh, come back down. And you guys are going to feel for it. So these are the fence gates here. And we have a, a pad of two pad of water, a fence gate, and then two more water. And they'll spawn in the water, but they kind of go sedentary right away. So they'll drop down. They'll kind of, you know, float a little bit, if you will. And then they'll fall down through these gates, come here, fall down through these gates. And then when they come out of the bottom layer of gates is when they will fall into our little, you know, water trap that's running down. Uh, so that they'll kind of just get pushed along and you'll hear them doing their little squeaky toy jumping and uh, Yeah, we can bring them kind of uh, Like from this point here. What is the If this works out that well, that'd be cool one. That's two three four five Six seven. Oh check that out That puts us there's the water that runs right there and that would be right into that center block. So We'll have to lower it, but we're not going to pull it off the wall, that's for sure. Because we want them, we want this to be one continuous water stream. And then when they fall off, they can fall down into a one wide trough right there. Um, and just all kind of get pushed into the center. So we'll, we'll do one over here. Um, and we'll do one back there. And then I'm thinking... Like we'll probably do one that'll start there just in the little tower. It'll come down. We'll do the two two water fence gate, two water fence gate. Um, come all the way down, and then it'll this one here in the center will uh, it'll be pretty big because these little guys are just gonna cap off right here at the end on either side. That this guy is gonna go. I don't know if I'll take it all the way out here. Probably though. Uh, tell me what you think. Should we? I mean, should we make this one giant pad out here? Uh, because we're gonna end up. Um, I'm I'm thinking this is the way we're gonna come in. I gotta pretty it up a little bit. But what I think we'll do, if this has to go down, you know, 40 blocks or however far we gotta make them fall, we're gonna just turn our stairs, continue these guys, and we'll just go down. And you'll just keep walking down, 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 down. And we'll make the cart that's there. It'll it'll zip down and it'll go down here. We might do something cool where it goes inside here first or something. But um, those stairs will just walk down. You'll go into a room and then these guys will be there, you know, kind of burning and flopping around and then they'll die. So, um, but yeah, that is going to do that there. So uh, I got to get this guy handled. I'm not going to change these to glass, guys. It was such a pain in the butt. 
Uh, it's actually not easy to take down underwater, believe it or not. If you use a half slab and you kind of do the old, you know, dig, 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 and as soon as the block disappears, you drop in a half slab, it will, uh, the, the gravel will fall and just break apart. So it's not bad, but I really don't want to change it. Don't make me change it, guys. Please. Please. So... All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Just a little bit of an update on what we got going on and uh, what we got accomplished. I'm going to get the disc thing figured out. It wasn't as bad today, so just a couple little blips and blops, but whatever. You know, we'll make it work. We'll do with what we can. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys, because next time we're definitely going to be getting this thing fixed, finished, and up and running. I want a lot of those lanterns because I love those things. They look really great. So we got to get this guy finished. Got a few other things that we got to get going. We got to get going on the cart station. So, and then uh, 1.9 releases in a week, guys. Yes, yes. In one week, we've got 1.9. Aren't you excited? I am super excited. I want wings. So, I think we're going to be updating to a pre release. I'm going to test it, but I think we might update to a pre release, kind of get that guy going. But yeah, a 1.9 is almost here, finally. It's so, all right, guys. Take care. Be nice to each other. And I will see you next time. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Wait a minute, he just said bye. I did, and I completely spaced on the fact that we were supposed to go enchant something. So I'm going to go back. We're going to do some enchanting real quick. See you in a second. All right. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Sorry. I know. Squirrel moment. Like, I had, like, just, hey, we're going to go show off our stuff and completely forgot about enchanting. So we're right here at our enchanting room. Let's get this bad boy going. I know you guys got other stuff to do. So, diamond chest plate, what do we got? I'm breaking three. Um, yes, please, I will. What do we get? Uh, protection three. Um, not bad, not bad. We can make some books and kind of bump that one up, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Let's grab this, uh, go over here, grab our diamonds. I could have sworn we had more, but uh, oh well. All right, so let's see, what do we get? Protection four, uh, protection three. Um, should we chance it? Should we chance it? Yeah, we're yeah, we're kind of rich. Let's do it. Um, and what do we get? Oh, sweet! Can't get any better than that. Oh, look at that! The missus is calling me. We will call her right back. New Apple Watch. Gotta love it. Sweet. So we got that. I'm breaking three on both of those. Um, we got our lapis. Let's put it away. Uh, nope. Hide it in there. Oh, there's our other diamonds. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Here's a couple more diamond pickaxes that when we were making these. I spaced on it. All right. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for coming and showing up. And like I said, be nice, take care, and I'll see you next time. Later. Later.